All right, we're bringing it back. There go gay ass Horacio right there. He's walking, he's gay. He's walking, walking, and gay. All right, we're bringing it back. We are taking every single part that's inside the garage for the truck. Cause we're gonna start assembling it. Uh, and the cutlass, we was looking for the cooler, but all that stuff was in there. Cause these motherfuckers don't know how to organize shit. What we need to do, Horacio, is those red, red racks. Throw some in there too, like that, straight. You get me straight in there, like that, like that. I walk around the racks. Yeah. All right. But we was looking for the colors cooler. We already took the front end off the colors, the bumper, the grills, and everything. So we have to run. Um, put this motherfucker. Started mocking up the coast side. We got all the coast side uh, piping. Some is there, some is there, and some is there. They're all three kits combined in boxes. So we gotta make three kits. One for that one, one for this one, one for that. Put them to the side. Make sure we have enough piping for all three kits. So when we do this one, this is the cooler for that car. I got the fender for the truck. I just have to assemble everything that goes to the fender, like the inner fender. Uh, there's a little part that goes there. And I got the manual for the truck to assembling. This is like uh, when you buy a model kit, you know the instructions that comes with it. This is the exact same shit. Instead of being Googling and YouTube and shit, that's how you used to build back in the days before all that shit. I have them for every single car. Not every single, but every single car that we work on, I make the owners buy it and I keep it. So that's the 55. I got one for the, oh, oh, one for the MC code and I used to build mine. Uh, I got one for OBSs. I have one for Maxima when I used to have my Maxima. I have them all for each car. The only one I don't have is for my Caprice. I don't even know if they make them for the Caprice. I have to look into that. But yeah, so today is cleaning. Today is, uh, we're gonna take shit out. Uh, today they're gonna clean the garage, start pulling parts out. All this stuff has to go to the back because that engine has to go in the garage. That engine has to go in the garage. And Oras is gonna bring his engine because he has uh, that little shit right there, that little box. It's Horacio stuff. Horacio, what are you building? Those are never gonna be built. His butt cheeks are fucking destroyed. <laughs> they are destroyed. But Horacio's gonna build a little hot 6 0, right, Horacio? Little baby 6 0. Yeah, so that's Horacio's stuff. So he's gonna make his own video on uh collapsing uh, collapsing disassembling his motor building his motor and there's goes my diffs for the ppv see that's the one diff that's two diffs it's a lot of shit with a little bit of time uh i don't think the diff, the ppv is gonna make a ls fest for next year uh the motor's still not here a lot of shit so the th main thing is this motherfucker has to go to paint on september 1st we're gonna finish term, try to terminate the colors. It's just little things ne needed, little things. And it's on its way out. And we focus on the MC while this one is out in paint. The colors is gone. We focus on the MC and Horacio can build his truck. Don't fuck up my tank. Oh, it's not my tank, but don't fuck it up. Yeah. But Horacio can focus on his truck. He has goodies you can see right there it says btr on it uh, can you see it right there it says, right there it says btr sticker he has a cam kit the whole box is cool of stuff i'm telling the rest of secrets okay but yeah in there there's a blow up doll where he keeps his <laughs> his uh sancha in there but that's his his uh cam kit on top that's his transmission cross member uh, in the box. Danny, what's inside the box? A blow If the top one is his cam kit and that's the transmission, what's inside the box? Oh, that harness is the shit that we take off cars. We just keep them. He, he, he bought it, he leveled it, 
Don't open. He's, shit, he's hiding from his parents. Put it's inside that box. Okay, but that harness is just stuff we take from cars that is trash to the owners, but we can use it for plugs. So that harness doesn't belong to Horacio. But there's a couple of them in there. But what's, what's inside that box, though? I see the cam kit, and I see the fucking cross member. You, you have a transcooler in there? He has tissue in there. That's the, there's no diff stuff in there. Because that shit's going to be hella heavy. Okay, but he got his diff. To build his diff. Cam. And so, I'm going to go through that box. I don't know what's inside that box. He probably got fucking drugs in my house and shit. All right, but yeah, they clean it. Let me get back to business. Enough playing. Because there's a lot of shit to do today. Because we need all this shit for Freddy. Yeah, Freddy needs to do a lot to that frame. Because we got to build a box. The, the You see the tailgate right there? We got to build a whole uh, box for it. Uh, that's another door. Because it has brand new doors. This truck has brand new sheet metal. The only thing we kept from the original truck was the frame and the cap. And the... Uh, Rear quarters, the rear uh, fender, outer fenders from the truck. Everything else brand new. You got columns. You got those are I think the bed bed rails, the ones that go on the bottom. Everything for the truck is brand new. If you're wondering how much money is in that truck, as it sits, it's a lot. I don't. It's a, it's a lot of money in there. A lot of money. But let me get to this. Let me assemble that. It's because I got a test fit because uh, the new turbo system. Uh, if you remember, the turbos were up high over here. Uh, this blanket throws a lot of fucking shit. Every time you move it, you got to blow. See? <clears throat> but the turbos are down now. See? I'm going to see if the inner fenders fit here. They go this way like this. They go slanted down like that. So I got to modify the inner fenders for those uh, shock towers. And that shock tower. So we're going to see if I can run the turbos like that. I can still move them further in. Except that one. I cannot move it because it's going to hit the fucking the power steering pulley. But I'm hoping she okay. And the only problem here I see is the radiator let's see focus the radiator is about here but if i mount the radiator on this side it clears the problem so the radiator is on order it's not here but that's why we need to figure out everything before the truck gets sent out to paint and a lot of stuff gets sent out to the powder coater so i'll bring it back all right, we're bringing it back. Look at the mess Danny has over there. All right, but all that belongs to the truck. Everything is brand new in boxes. Uh, these fenders kicked our asses. Kicked our asses. Uh, nothing was lining up. Nothing. We got temporary boats just holding it in for a meanwhile. But nothing was lining up on this motherfucker. We had a dolly. Uh, not what you call that uh, dolly and hammer this shit body work it a little bit just to line these shits up You see these holes? There's a, another hole inside these holes have to line up because there's a rivet that goes in there That holds these the, these two this piece to that piece and then this is the inner skirt But you none of the holes you can see lining up see none of them so what I did is line these big holes with the with my fucking um i don't know if you know this shit uh, we use them to find holes like on suspensions it's like a big ass toothpick so what we do is just you bring it let's say there was a complete hole right here you slide it in and you wiggle it until you both body matches and then we just use these screws to tight the skins together because these are supposed to be ribbit together but I'm gonna just throw a little tack so they won't move in case they take the fenders apart at the body shop so I'm just gonna put a little baby tacks tack here you know on the little holes just tack 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 
and let them uh in the case they take it apart it's not gonna all around but yeah and the turbos are fitting way nicer than what we thought me and danny thought we actually pushed this over now it's giving us a lot of room for the the down pipe going this way this way and down and i can go a little bit up down and down that way and it will clear all the for the water hose ac lines I can go that way straight into the inner fender, go up the inner fender, go that way into the fucking um, the vintage air. We just gotta finish this side, but Rasio had to leave, and we need all the hands that we can. Right now, this inner fender is hitting the back wall from the fender aligning. You can see the big gap right there. It has to go further that way and it has to go up to line up. So we have to trim, it's like you see, I already trimmed there a little bit, but I'm gonna have to trim the whole bottom piece, that piece, and give ourselves a little bigger gap and stuff. But I already trimmed for the suspension. It, I just need to beautify it, but that's how it's gonna look. The whole control arm can go all the way up and go all the way down. It's just a lot of rough edges right now because right now we're just trying to mock it in there. And that's about it. I can move on to this side. Finish the, it has a beauty piece that goes here. I gotta find that one. And it has a beauty piece that goes there have to find that hood latch the hood uh, and that's it it's just fucking hot out here it's like fucking 90 degrees it's just hot 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 and i have to go through all these fucking boxes all new stainless steel hardware is going in there remember the book i told you about that's why we've been reading to fucking line these shits up Oh, you know what? I'm still missing the body bushings. So it's gonna bring the cab even further up. Okay, so I gotta find those up. But yeah, you see? All this shit is uh, walking through fucking boxes and boxes and boxes of shit. That's the door. This is the rear, uh, the bed panel, the rear panel for the back of the box. Uh, I know that. This is the new cow right there. It, it doesn't have the little slits, it's a smoothie. It says grill. So I guess that's the whole front chrome grill. The tailgate. And over here, I think it's all used shit from other cars. There goes the other side of the bed, the fucking shit over there they already cleaned the whole back side they brought everything out they didn't clean they just brought everything back out this engine has a gleave and look at all the fucking room all the fucking room we got the fan going because it's fucking hot in here but yeah see and we got the hood so once we get clean the floor and all that shit everything from there has to push back because i gotta bring those two motors in this one has to go back out Horacio engine comes on to the stand so he can work on his own engine i just gonna coach him through and that's it but i gotta find a lot of parts for the truck so we can continue so we won't waste this day and then probably at night time, when it's cooler, we finish out the cut list because uh, we did find a lot of stuff. But let me start going through boxes. All right, we bring it back. Look at all those buckets, fucking boxes. And we still have a mess back there. What I should made a fucking mess. Oh! But. Uh, when, when we was opening boxes, we figured out that we was missing that piece right there. 
and the piece that goes inside. The piece that goes here. So I had to send it so you can order it. Hope we get it so I can get mocked up. But there you have it. I was able to move that turbo further that way too. All right. fucking mosquitoes so probably tomorrow I'll mock up the steering column so we can go wherever and start ordering the linkage for the steering and I can start modding uh, start doing the hot side I don't I, I want to see where exactly it's gonna go But we have a bunch of room. Uh, we're gonna see once the radiator gets here. I'm gonna see how much can I cut so the air can go here and straight into the turbo. Uh, has a uh, Eddie Motorsports uh, hinges. They so nice. Look at that. Hear that? So nice. Uh, but yeah, she fought us all the way. It was right now, we took forever just lining it up, but we was able to line it up right there. Line it up here. Now uh, we haven't lined up the rears yet because they're not bolted on because I don't have the shims to line them up. So I can line up the doors with this. But once that right there is lined up and locked in, the hood is super lined up and locked in. It has a weather strip that goes in here. Uh, and there goes a little piece right there that goes in here. I should put it on. But yeah, other than that, the door is nice and open, nice and slow. See? I have to still align that one. That one's not really aligned. Uh, but this is the new cow. Uh, the truck gonna have wipers. We have the new redesigned wipers. They're not, they're not OEM, they are aftermarket. Everything on this truck is aftermarket. That goes there like that. I have to bend it a little bit because it's lifting up. But truck's gonna have AC. Truck's gonna have uh, retro sound, retro sound. Vintage Air, uh, Dakota Digital, and it's gonna have a 12.5, 12.3 Holly screen right there with the console going in there, and stuff like that. We already spoke about it. I have to take this stupid vinyl shit off of it still, but they're gonna sandblast the whole cab, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, the step is not lining up for shit. The body man has to work the shit out of that step. Ah, uh, he's not gonna be happy about that shit. Uh, I just gotta do the pedal. The pedal, even the pedal's electronic. Everything's electronic for this. Like, uh, like I say, the windows. Oh, even the windows gonna be a one-piece electric. Everything is here for that. But they have to. Doors has to go out to paint first. Uh, that's about it. A uh, new American Auto Wire harness, uh, Terminator X, uh, computer system. That's it. I think. Oh, I have the pedal right here. This is all old stuff that came out of the truck. Old Master. We got a Wheel Wheel Master for it. But there goes the pedal right here. Electronic pedal. I just got a wheels marking it. But I have to put the pedal. I have to put the. Can I take that out to use the box? Yes. Because that's part of the bed. This door still has to get lined up. And the bottom of the fender is still loose. And we welded some new. Um, uh, fucking. Uh, this screw. Cause I was looking everywhere for this to see if they sell it brand new because it was already all fucked up. 
but see this little thing I was looking for it and I couldn't find it so I drilled it out and this I put a uh, it's like a weldable you can say it's a washer with threads but it's a built-in threads onto the washer I have to give you guys part numbers for this but I think Danny put it away but yeah but that goes in there and now you can use a 516 bolt I should have got it with a 3.8 bolt I should have got a 3.8 bolt instead but I went I got this Danny do you have this where's the little inserts for the threads but yeah that's about it uh, like I said I'm missing that piece and that piece if not, the whole front end should have been completed. We have all the headlight buckets, the turn signal buckets. I have everything. Uh, Danny, those inserts were the threads, the one we welded. All right, give me uh, the bag. But that's that's about it. Right now, we're just gonna open the boxes for the rear. This is all bed stuff. Those are the cross members. Uh, the these cross members, they all fucked up on the truck. You see, like that one is. You can see the it's broken. So we got all brand new cross member. This is a 55 second series, not the first series. This is the second series. So it uses three. I think there's two series only use two of these cross members. But uh, the one with the that thing on it that's the first one that's for the step the one with this little curve that's the second one because it was it's close to the wheels the third one goes in between and then you got the fourth one that goes onto the bed and that's how you make your floor and then you got your wood but right now we need to uh make sure because we gotta tub it there's the tubs so we we have to make it we have to line it up. We're gonna bolt those down, and then just get some. Uh, we're gonna get some of the plywood, uh, the wood, and just make a makeshift uh, so we can lay down the bed on top of it, so we can get the proper gap. Cause those tubs, you can see the holes on it right there. Those tubs have to be on top of the wood, just like the rest of the bed. Because the bed has a little groove where the wood goes into. So the bed has to be on top. Those tubs have to be on top. So we need just a little makeshift so we can get the proper uh, thickness before we order the wood. And we got to cut the, the, we got to cut these, the side panels. So it can have uh, the, the, the tubs going to go welded onto the tub, the, this Freddie has to weld them on. We're gonna cut them shorter than that because it's very long or wide. So we're gonna go, I guess the bed goes around here, like around here, this, the bed. No, I think the bed hits the tire. So I think the bed is here, the, the bed rail. So we're gonna just tub it from here to right there. That's how much tubs, because the wheel can't go further than that because this, so the wheel can only go for like an inch closer to that. Like about there. So it's gonna have at least, I'm hoping like a 20 by 14 to 20 by 12 in the rear. In the rear. Mm, and part like a 20 by 10 in the front. No, 22 or 24. We still don't know the size, but it's gonna be a, a 24 or a 22 all around, but a 22 by 14, 22 by 12 in the rear, 22 by 10 in the front. It doesn't have a part number on the thing? No, huh? No. But let me get one. But these things, how they look, this is how they look. I got them off of eBay, I believe. But you can see it's like a washer and it's a threaded insert in it but it's all molded into this one little piece. It's not two pieces, it's just one piece. So what I did, I just uh, drilled that out, put that in there, and just put a couple of tacks. I might just have Freddy fully welded in there. 
but this is it. It's a use a 5 16 but like I said, I should have used a 3 8 bolt. But it's a fucking fender, you get me? It's not like it's gonna bust that bolt out of there. But we're gonna cut this video short here. Uh, tomorrow will be in a whole different day. Uh, we just gotta clean right now. They're cleaning that garage up so they can move that table further in because this motor has to go in there. That motor has to go in there. Or else it's gonna bring his motor and it's gonna be a motors everywhere. So that's why we're trying to clean up all this fucking cardboard as much as we can. Build that and that's about it all it's it's the vintage uh some of it is belongs to that now and it's mostly like fuel system and like the electrical system for this truck and that's about it but yeah i'll cut it here uh bring it back tomorrow